why should you choose hello study global primarily two reasons one is the track record that we've had all the students who have been enrolled with hello study global they've got it into their dream university so that means 100% track record we've maintained so far and we would like to continue to do so what unique challenges did you face in the early stages of building your study abroad venture with so many universities around the world education abroad segment is a very challenging segment and what makes it more challenging is due to the diversity of the universities that are there the admission process can be very different second there are so many different standardized exams with GRE SAT GMAT and and they all have different rules of the game different skill sets are tested some are adaptive some are not so there are a lot of nuances in terms of the understanding that they require second is you in order to understand that you know how to build someone should build a profile to get into a university you need a lot of experience to overcome this challenge i started working with a renowned company in in uh, india and then after that i gradually forayed into the domain of uh, admission counseling in the domain of training can you share a success story or memorable experience from one of your study abroad programs this is almost um, a daily occurrence that when i receive messages from students saying that they got into a university or why or they scored um, you know above 1500 in the sat or above 320 over uh, gre 700 plus in gmat so such messages i keep receiving on almost a daily basis and these messages are the ones that make my day and to be honest there there's so many so many students like that uh, one student who had scored just 300 in his first attempt in the sat and within 20 days ended up scoring 320 even he couldn't believe that you know he would be able to do so one student i remember from boston he scored 1100 in the first attempt of sat and he had dropped all the ideas of pursuing his undergrad from a reputed university had lost all hope and within less than 2 months he scored 1470 which was above his target score of 1450 there are many such uh, stories and and they're not just stories with students scoring around 340 and students scoring above 1500 50 plus uh, in the sat see those are the students who already have a strong base but then there are so many numerous stories of students who had lost all hopes after taking some attempts in these exams who after enrolling with us they transformed their story upside down and um and and now studying in one of the most renowned universities around the world what advice would you give to students considering study abroad first is uh, never give up don't underestimate yourself that um you know don't underestimate that you would not be able to get into top tier university and it is easier to get into top tier global university than you think you know just look at the statistics even if you talk about the ivy league universities beat harvard university university of pennsylvania dartmouth so on and so forth you'll see that the acceptance rate in overall is is around 5 to 6% now if you apply early that increases to 20 25% now compare that with the acceptance rate across the top tier universities colleges in india which is in some cases less than 1% so you can easily conclude that it is easier to get into top tier universities abroad just that you need right approach you need to follow the right steps prepare well for the standardized exam build your profile present your case in the best possible manner by writing compelling personal statement get good letters of recommendation show the activities that enhance your chance of getting selected in these universities and and, and you will be through So all in all just have faith in your abilities and aim high you would be god willing you'll you'll be able to get through the most competitive university which is out there can you share any future plans or upcoming developments for your study abroad venture hello study global we are aggressively hiring and we're looking for people who are enthusiastic to contribute in the education landscape and uh, we are also in the process of tying up with universities those universities that offer value to the student and making the in the process making the entire application process very um efficient less time consuming and um the process that would make it easier for the students to apply and 
um, get the admission, not only the admission, but also the scholarship to various universities. A last message which you would like to convey to the students watching this video. One thing most of the students miss is if you're planning to st study abroad, you must start early because the application process is, is slightly lengthy. Right? Say for example, if you are applying for 2025 fall, that is the batch which is going to start in 2025 timber, you should ideally start one year before. That is the application window for that opens in August, September 2024. So to file the application early, wherein your chances of getting selected would increase, you should start preparing for standardized exams like GRE, GMAT or SAT, whichever you're writing, depending upon the program that you're applying to. Start, have like a head space of, uh, a head start of two, uh, three to four months for that. And then uh, maybe a month for a language proficiency test like GRE or G, uh, IELTS or TOEFL. Now, all in all, um, the message is that you, you know, uh, if you start early, your chance of getting selected would increase, your chance of getting merit-based scholarship would increase, and the quantum of that scholarship would increase. So that's one uh, message that I would like to give to the student who planning to study abroad. Now, there are hundreds of students who started with almost very little confidence that they'll be able to get through the university that they dreamt for off. But then uh, at the end of the process, they were exonerated to see that by the, the offer letters that they had received. You can check out stories of such students on our YouTube page. Their interviews are there. What all hardships did they face? How did they overcome those hardships? How much scholarship did they get? What top university did they um, get into?